sloppy science, shortcuts, and scientism. A set of systems lessons from our present era of the pandemic known as COVID-19. I'm Brennan Mayer, Michael's research associate and a senior at BU Sargent College. Michael is going to focus on the systems and cybernetics aspects of this presentation, and I'm going to focus on the questions of public health. Sloppy science is the practice of science without attention to detail and rigor. Shortcuts are taken and used in place of time and diligence. Alternative choices are ignored due to their disruption to the already assumed conclusion or other reasons. Desired results exist because of political pressure, financial incentive, the fear of more people dying, or the cloud that comes from finding the cure. Bias abounds when the incentives are so strong. Desired results are found more often than not. Hydroxychloroquine was pushed as a cure for COVID-19 on the basis of sloppy science. Although many in the medical community warned that the conclusion was being pushed on the basis of a poorly designed study, as well as anecdotal evidence, the hope for a medical cure resonated with journalists, decision makers, doctors, and scientists. Given one paper on hydroxychloroquine, both the media and policymakers reacted as if the small-scale study involved was conclusive. Rigorous science would mostly disprove the hydroxychloroquine treatment as effective against COVID-19, but only months after it first soared in public expectations. Perhaps most troubling, these shortcuts, manifested as labels and categorization, led to an erosion in the public's trust in science and scientists. When the science is sloppy science, shortcuts, narratives, and pet theories are used to filter the observations seen, the methods and techniques employed, the narrative that is subsequently told, and all of it is packaged much like one of Stephen Colbert's truthies. It has to feel right. It's not that the data has to support it, but rather that the feelings must support it. Sloppy science is a science of shortcuts, dangerous shortcuts. Our goal must be to take the steps necessary so that the public can once again regain its faith in science. To do so means we need to bring back the notion of rigor. We need to bring back the continual asking of questions. We need to reassert that science is not about answers, but is about questioning. It's about a process. It's being open to say, I don't know. I don't yet understand. Come on this journey with me. We cannot have the false truths, the black boxes of sloppy science work to destroy what has been the 20th and 21st century's greatest achievements. Science and technology have done wonders for mankind. Sloppy science, fear, doubt, all of those can work to destroy that. It is critical that we work to restore our trust in science itself. That trust can happen when we once again approach science from the perspective of systems, cybernetics, and asking questions. On behalf of Brendan and myself, thank you for listening.